Okay, um, welcome back. This is uh, Chuck Turpo, and if you've been following along or just joining in, we are restoring the action on a 1917 Steinway. This is a Model O Grand Piano. That's a five foot ten, and uh, this piano is is owned by Dondra Jennifer Grant, and uh, she is a excellent excellent classical player as well as as teacher. Uh, her studio is uh, in San Anselmo, California, and it is Phoenix Rising, and Jennifer's just great so I got to do a real good job on this uh, to try to do always but now we're looking at the keyframe as you saw before it had all of the punchings and felts on it I've now stripped it with the exception myself personally everybody does it differently but I have left one sample for the end key for the height and the dip on each end of the piano that's just my way uh, if you have the piano in the shop with the action, not really so necessary, but it does help when you don't have the piano here. So, okay, as you see, we have stripped it. These are the old felts that were here on the back. And what you're seeing here in the red, and these go underneath these felts to lift it up. And this is where the back of the key will rest. You have the back of the key here, coming up to the middle of the key, up to the front of the key. So I steamed all of these off and then sanded. This is called the back rail, which is just obviously the back part of the action. So this is all ready to glue the new felt. I also keep my old felt uh, so I use that to pattern the cut on my new felt as well as, as the spacers uh, that go underneath. I like to keep those and just to get me started. Um, and I may, when you've changed the thickness of, with new felt, you may not need as much or you even may need a little more. But I like to keep that. So what I've done after I stripped it, is I have hand polished all of these pins you're looking at. Yes, all 176 of them. That's two per note times 88. My math still works. We've got 176. I like to use a jewel polishing cloth for jewelry. And so we want to get all the oxidation off, which I have already done. And now my next step is going to be using this tool we want to make sure I can explain um, that on our balance rail, the pins here are perfectly round. Okay, and that's for the center of the key. That's the rocking point of the key. Whereas the front pins are oblong. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is that as you play a piano over the years, and the key bushing, which I showed you in previous ones, uh, previous videos, will wear and loosen up, and then you get side play in the key. So these are designed so that we can take this tool and turn it. And by doing that, we're taking up the space inside the mortise, which is as I showed you, the little hole that's got the two red uh, cloth in there. Okay, so by doing like this, you should have space like this. I'm seeing that this, is, this has been turned to the right, as well as when you really get over the top, you see it's turned to the right. We want them, as we're putting in new bushings, we want them to be straight. We want them, because we're gonna start out. So, to do that, I brought this around now I want it to be the same amount of play on each side, and that tells me that I'm straight. So that's my next step, is to go through all of these. It doesn't take, it doesn't take long at all, but all of these on the front, and make sure they're nice and straight before we bush our keys and put our brand new keep, uh, bushed keys back in the piano. 
Okay, so uh, my again, I will come back when I have I've done this next step and made sure all of my these are front rail key pins. You also let me say that when you do this and you use this tool, you want to stay on the bottom of the pin. That way, if I go here next to this sample, you'll see I'm not higher than that felt. You don't want to be above the felt and scratch the pin. That can cause, uh, especially if it's a pretty good scratch, can cause a grab, a bit of a grab, and you don't want any grab at all, on the, no drag on the key. That's why we have removed all the oxidation by polishing all of these pins. And now as soon as I turn them, I'm going to use a, a certain lubricant I like to use myself I use McLube 1725L and it, it's uh, this is a place you do not want to use WD-40 or something like that this is a, a dry cure film and it's a protective coating so it's going to protect these for for a very long time after I'm done so when I come back I will have turned all the key pins I will have sprayed them all and let them dry with the McLube, and I will have installed new felt on the back rail. Okay, so thanks for joining me, and have a great evening.